Hello, 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 everybody. Okay, let's see if we can go on from where we stopped. I think it comes through in my voice. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not in trouble or anything like that. But I've, I've just been going through a rough time emotionally. <coughs> I think there's too many triggers in my environment. It sort of brings up flashbacks from the past and. Um, with this political situation in South Africa, my mom being hospital and arguments at home and you know, all kinds of things. It reminds me of my what they call my family of origin. <laughs> right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those clips um, and just clip the top there. So the so it stays in place to dry. Like that. Right, and I'm just going to leave that dry. Right, um, what's next? I know I had some papers that I had to cut out. I wonder where that is. Where is that? Just looking for it, people. Oh, here we go. So we can cut this out. Let me just close this clean as well. I actually wanted to do a live today, but my internet died. <laughs> I work on the mobile, what's that? we call it a dongle. Um, it's a little mobile device that takes a SIM card, and then you load data onto the SIM card, but then that device can go anywhere where you go. <coughs> So you basically have internet access wherever you take that mobile device with you. By mobile device, I do not mean a telephone. Uh, we don't call that a mobile device, we call that a phone. <laughs> right, but by this I just mean a device that is mobile, that you can go places with. So, um, the, that one died. I've got it on the solar panel now to, to try and charge it. And then hopefully by the time I've finished recording this, then I should be able to just upload. Yeah. Right, so there's a card. I'll put some ink on it just now. Get the camera off the screen. So mostly the journaling cards and tags that I'm going to be using for this journal is going to be very simple. It's just sort of this stick something on idea. Just to so show that in Junk Journal 101 you can literally do minimal things to end up with a really beautiful journal. You know, you do not need all the trims and tools and to spend millions of rands or millions of dollars, sorry, <laughs> on um, equipment to be able to make something nice. You know? These are the ones that I stuck on here in that live that I did where I said, you know, gluing paper to cardstock. So I, did, I never got to cutting this out. I think it was still wet at that stage. So literally with this Junction 101, I, the aim is to do everything on camera so that there's no gaps in any of the knowledge. Because I remember when I started, it was like, really digging for information. Now I realize there's since been a whole bunch of Junk Journal 101 series that came out on to YouTube, but um, people are still making it look like there's not much in between that happens, and actually there's quite a bit that happens in between. Even if it's just 
what you would call donkey work, you know, just um, sticking stuff together and cutting it out and making little embellishments and, and all of that. So this video will be kind of sort of part of my Junk Journal 101 series, but um, it will basically be there for, uh, I'll put it in that playlist as well, but it's just a craft along, but for the person that really wants to sit and do everything with you and see how you did each and everything, I think I felt that this was loose, let me just grab this is a little bit loose. Maybe I shall leave that to last and then glue them all. Glue them all that needs gluing. Um, just so for the person that uh, that is following along and actually trying to do what each one, you know, what I did here, yeah, that they are able to access the information and, and see exactly the process in what did I do there and what did I do there and what did I do there. If you make your first journal ever, it is not a bad plan to find videos like these or a similar person whose style you like and um, just sit and watch and rewind and, you know, just follow along and do the whole video with, you know, do the whole book with that person. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do a glue session. Let's have a look. Very corner there is not glue, but I'm thinking to make this a tag, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this a tag. So basically how I decide whether it's going to be a tag or a journaling card, if you have a look like this postcard, I'm not going to be cutting off that postmark or anything there, so this will definitely be a journaling tag. I might round the corners to make it look more more um, finished, you know. Right, so you know the tag trick, you cut that off and then you turn it around, you put it in that corner, exactly, measure it up exactly, and then cut again. And then that way your two corners are exactly precise, and they exactly the same thing. Okay, so let's just now see if anything is loose. That's that stuck. So just um, going over the work and basically seeing. You don't want this journal is going to be my own. It's not going to go off for sale. But what I mean by that is, if you're going to be selling your work, make sure it doesn't fall apart as soon as the client gets it. You know. <laughs> All right. This one, let's check for glue. There's glue on my fingers, so apologies people. That's what crafting is all about. You get your, your hands dirty and you get into the muck. You see the muck. <laughs> right, that one seems fine. This one, I think this is a tag as well. This is going to say tag to me. Let's cut the And I like making the tag slightly differently, you know, like not the exact same shape, like this one has now got a, a bigger cut. <coughs> so that give, brings a bit of differentiation to your to your journal. Right, like that. Let's do the glue test. Okay, we need glue there. That's fine. Oh, that needs gluing. I don't know how this happens. You know, like when you glue it originally, you really check that everything is glued. And somehow there's always a little bit that's not glued. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that happens. 
I think once you leave it to dry, the little elves come or the gnomes or something come and then they pull it apart just to make sure you have something to attend to later. <laughs> so it's, it's the crafting elves. That's their job. <laughs> I'm talking a load of nonsense. <laughs> allowed to talk nonsense people. Now what I'm realizing as I'm sitting here is I'm actually realizing my mood is quite, is picking up, you know, my mood is picking up and I'm, and that's what crafting does, isn't it? Picks up your mood and you feel good again. And you. So I have to thank you guys for that. Thank you for cheering me up inadvertently. <laughs> Very much appreciated gonna let that dry. This one glue test. That one needs glue there. I can't speak French, guys. That was good, though. <laughs> I can't even say an attempt. That was bad. <laughs> that says Marseille. I, I know that. <laughs> Marseille. Okay, so now this one also has these little curly... I don't know if it shows up on camera. Let me do that and see if it shows up on camera. Yeah, it's got those little curly bits. So I'm not, I'm not going to cut anything off. So that basically says journaling, journaling card. And that's literally the difference between a, between a journaling card and a um, tag. All right, so now... I'm just going to ink these. Do I want round corners on this? No, I don't think so. I don't want it cutting off those squirrely bits. Squirrely bits. I like inking a little bit more in the corners makes it look slightly more authentic as being old although I do realize that I use a lot darker ink than a lot of the people that do ink um, you have to give leeway for the fact that not all the ink shows up on camera um, it's actually quite a bit darker than what it would show let me bring it closer so you see it's quite a dark ink that I'm using. So, um, but I like that. I like the idea that it's dark and vintage. Right, so these were file folders that I stuck this on. That was in that other line. I need to get a new one of these soon. So, um, I have a very, very, very small house. Um, very, very small house. <laughs> um, basically, it's 8 meters by 5 meters. Uh, if you're in America and you don't know what a meter is, if you stretch out your arm to your right hand side, or your left hand side, it doesn't matter. If you stretch out your arm and you take from the tip of your finger to the middle of your chest, that distance is, uh, is one meter. And my whole house is eight meters by five meters, so it's really small. Um, so I need to make space for my crafting that suits a bit better. My It's not difficult to set up where I am, but like now I have to plan when is my husband or the kids or anybody here or not here and who's going to come into the house and not come into the house. 
and I can only really record when they are not here um, because otherwise you guys are going to hear a doors opening and dogs barking well you hear the dogs in any case but you're going to be disturbed the whole time whilst I record so I've got to sort of plan it quite well to be able to record um, and the fact that I have to pack all this up Believe me, you can't see it on the screen, but around my screen here, there's just stuff lying around um, that I unpacked now for the recording, but basically <coughs> everything that I could possibly need, and you sort of have to anticipate that what might you need more than this. So this is what I'm doing now with these recordings. I'm probably going to make a few of them. I don't like the videos to be too long. So I might make a few of them as just sort of creating embellishments. So I might call them creating embellishments 1, creating embellishments 2, <laughs> you know, so you don't have to, if you see the notification that you don't re-watch the same, the same video, but don't miss out on the other ones. So um, I should probably check how long this recording is to guess we're sort of close to half an hour but you know when you craft you actually have no idea about time because that's the whole point of crafting isn't it to lose time that was that was interesting to me on that cptsd is that they say why people do crafting is they kind of escape to crafting you know it's a kind of a switch off of um the reality oh i'm on 49 minutes okay I'm literally just going to ink these, and then I'm going to switch off, um, and then I'm going to record another one, which goes on exactly from from here. Okay. So I just want to sort of finish this, and then show that as a thumbnail, you know, like as a screenshot on the screen. I'll do the, the back sides off camera, just not to waste time. This video was already way longer than what I anticipated now. Um, yeah. And now I didn't round the corners, I, but okay, I can still round it and then ink that. That's not the big deal. Style. I'd love to be able to design like this. One day, we'll get there. I was actually thinking today of, of sitting and designing digital here, yeah, you know, just like, sort of like a craft along, but not a, you know, just sit and design and have you guys watch as a video, you know, because that was actually what I was in the mood to do. <laughs> I was actually in the mood to do the digitals, but I realized my Junk Journal 101 is sort of extending to weeks again, which is probably not a good idea. But I, if I'm honest, I thought to put a Junk Journal 101 series on so that in future, if anybody wants to know how to make Junk Journals, then I can always refer them to... Look, I have a Junk Journal 101 series on there, and, um, you know, go check that, that playlist. You know, it's sort of a basic on this that has to be in place. Okay, so there we go. Let me just get these fluffies off then. <laughs> the fluffies keep coming back. Postcard and pin it. So there. Does that make a nice picture? Does that make a nice picture? Alright guys, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Okay, um, I've put my thing, my iPad on a charger. So I'm hoping that we can succeed in doing the next video as an add-on here. The next one's about, I think about eight or nine minutes. 
so I'm going to try to just add that now on here so it continues from that previous one but I did originally record it as another about a half an hour video but it got short cut somehow after eight minutes so there is a definite gap I'll try to make that up in the next video to show you what I've done okay here goes hello 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 everybody okay so sorry about this mess let me just move this um okay so i ended up with the last one where i um did all of these just move this off screen so it looks neater <laughs> just around here is a big mess <laughs> right so um that's what that looks like that's what that one looks like that one that one and that one okay the paper clip is not quite dry yet i did ink it i did cut off that lace and sort of there but that one is still a little bit wet so i'll still cut off there slightly um i'm thinking i'll put some bling or a pearl or something there just to give it something extra and then i'll probably put a flower or something but it, i will make sure that whatever i put goes over that where the two pieces of lace meet but for now i'm just gonna that's my hardest challenge to leave stuff to dry and not go on and on and on and not let it dry so i'm gonna put this aside let it dry properly we'll get back to it at some point okay um then i've got where is that right so i've cut the two I've got that, um, what I'm going to use as a belly band then too. So what I did is I took the journal and I measured it like that. So that's the right length. It might not be the exact li right length when I get to a page, which I might decide to fold it over like that, or not, whichever. For now I'm just going to put some lace on these two. you saw all the lace on the <laughs> on the table so i haven't got a whole bunch of lace or a whole bunch of different varieties of lace okay so i've got this which i i quite like the idea of maybe just putting one that side and then one this side and then just whatever butterflies or roses or whatever flower on top of that so i like one of them maybe like that then I've got this rick rack, which I don't think is going to be anything today. Then I've got this sort of just slightly cream colored lace, which that would look nice if it hangs off completely on the side, but you would still need something like on there. Not sure, maybe. Okay. And then I've got this gold colored rick rack. Which I haven't looked at that looks nice yet. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Um, let's see. So it's quite a bit thinner than the other one. If you look size wise. There, there's the point. Okay. So I quite like that. But now I'm thinking maybe put this. this like that and then put the gold rig rack where they meet let's just have a look something like that I quite like that on both sides okay I think that's what I'm going to do okay so let's um, move this just off screen and then what we can do yeah okay so i need this but i need the the end of the lace <laughs> find the end of the lace okay all right so see which side stands up slightly that's that side okay so i'm just 
doggy crying here yeah? going oh 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 on the floor here yeah? wanting some attention Doggy attention time, people. My apologies. Doggy needs his heart tank for that. Look, 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 look. Yeah, Come here, honey. Look, mommy still loves you. <coughs> mommy still loves you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mommy still loves you. Oh. Okay. Hopefully his little tank is a little bit fuller now. <laughs> So what I was sort of starting to tell you in the previous video is um, I've been moving my bedroom and my cupboard part of my <laughs> house around. The bedroom part was slightly bigger and the cupboard space was slightly smaller, but they more or less the same size. But I moved them around and now I've sort of fit the bed in like exactly, it fits exactly. <laughs> And um, so the cupboard space is now slightly bigger than what is needed for the cupboards. And my idea is I'm going to make one end of it, um, the part that sort of, I'm sitting in front of a door. So the area that I'm going to fix is around the corner here. So where the door still has light on there, I want my husband to put a desk for me there or a piece of wood that can act like a desk. And then I want to set up my craft area there. And then um, hopefully I would not have to pack and unpack, you know, like, like set up and not set up. So the idea is that it's not a traffic area. No, it's not an area that needs to take traffic the way I move it because the bed used to be there so I couldn't do anything there but then with the bed moved um, I've got this cupboard that I'm using at the moment to put my craft stuff on um, so let me make that slide up. so it overhangs the middle Okay, so that's where the video cut off. Um, so um, I'll try to record further again today. Um, there's about another, you know me in time, I'm, so I'm not sure, but there's at least a half an hour's footage that's now completely missing. That where I continue doing it, but I'll show you everything I did. I made, I finished the belly bats, and then I um, made a little flip over booklet that can go into one of the pages of the journal but i'll show you that in the next video okay guys have a lovely day and um, see you soon <laughs>